Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine two SQL queries into one single query. Let's get started. So before we jump into the um, SQL query itself, let's talk about what the problem is. The problem here is this individual was able to query the Windows 8 application. So think of store apps. And then uh, they were looking for teams. And then they also queried the add remove programs and was looking for teams. And what they when I first looked at this problem, I originally thought what they were looking for was a count of all of the software titles installed that were for Teams and then making them into one report. That's not the case. What they're looking for more is being able to look at an individual computer and determining uh, is Teams installed from um, the store or from the uh, uh, enterprise uh, machine-wide version of Teams. That's the problem. So with that, let's move on over to SQL Server Management Studio. All right, so we're here in SQL Server Management Studio, and I've uh, put these together before um, starting of this recording. These are two a very simple queries. The first one is just going to query the Windows 8 applications for Teams. I'm uh, querying for resource ID, application name, version, and uh, I'm cheating in here by using a star for the installed uh, setup. So this is going to tell me that it's actually installed and it would be null or blank if it's uh, not installed. And then down below, I'm doing the exact same thing but for add remove programs. So I'm going to run the application, the, the first query itself, and we can see that I have uh, Teams and Teams Xbox Gaming Bar widget with their particular uh, versions on here. Now, the one thing that you'll interesting you'll notice is that the resource ID is the same, which means that it's the same machine has both applications on it. Now, we're going to run the one for add remove programs and surprise i actually don't have teams since the enterprise version installed in anywhere in my my lab so of course the results are null here so if we go back to the problem and extrapolate what this uh, individual is looking for they don't actually want to know about the singular computer i mean it's e it's easy enough to do we could go uh, dbo dot b underscore r system go r join uh, a eight eight on r dot resource id equals uh, w eight a dot resource id and then we can cheat up here and go w eight a dot and we'll go r.net bias name. And then we can rerun this same query again, and we can see it's uh, len2. Now, the interesting thing is um, if we go to the R systems collection, we're going to notice. Uh, so if we go down here and we'll select star here we're going to see that my lab has 24 rows uh, on it so the extrapolation is, based on the request that the, the individual is making is for these uh, looks like 18 that are true devices within one of our he would like to see whether or not they have teams installed or not so the way this is set up right now we're not going to to see that this is where we're going to have to get into a left outer join to do this. But remember, they want to see not only uh, whether Teams is installed, they want to see the version of Teams that's installed uh, and, this, and the display name, but they also want to know if um, it's blank. So 
I took the liberty of writing up another query for this one. So here's the query on it. Um, I did it here as using CTs uh, uh, to get the results. So this is the same query that we just had before. And I've just made it a single line. And again, this is the same one, uh, just oops, as a single line. And both of these, the results of the first one and the second one will feed into this third query. And you can see down here where the ARP, which is this one, uh, as a left order join, and the Windows 8 application is the, the top one. And then here we're going to say, find me the uh, device names, show me whether or not um, add remove programs is installed. So if you remember in the query up here, I've got the star. So we're going is null. So if it's null, it's going to show up as a blank. But if it's installed, we're going to get a star on it. We're going to see the uh, display version, name and version. And similarly, we're going to do the same thing with Windows, uh, Windows 8 applications. I'm telling this to sort by uh, computer name. So if I take all of this and run it, we can see that the uh, add and remove programs is blank for all the computers because the underlying queries. But for uh, Lenovo, the, the, the Len2 uh, computer, we can see that Teams is a version. Hopefully this answers the question and gives you uh, insight on how to uh, join two uh, views together in one SQL query. Just a couple things before I sign off. The SQL queries associated with this video will be on uh, the blog site. Uh, you'll be able to download them uh, freely on that. Uh, I want to remind everybody to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, this way you'll get the latest videos as they go live. Additionally, um, subscribe to the RSS feed or sign up for the newsletter on Ask Earth. This way, again, you can get the content, uh, the blogs and articles as they come live. Until next time.